All right, home vice. Today is a different video. Um, as you can see, my face is completely beat, baby. And you can't tell me it ain't. But at any rate, um, I wanted to come and do a different kind of video. Um, I posted this picture right here on my Facebook. Now, keep in mind, y'all, I'm taking a sabbatical from Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that. All of that, okay, till uh, January. Um, the reason why is because uh, me and my husband just really wanted to detox our marriage. You know what I mean? And Facebook don't count, okay? Facebook don't count uh, sometimes, but it count this time. So... Uh, I'm still going to be posting here on my YouTube channel and on my blog, uh, which the link is right here and is down below. But long story short, um, I posted the picture and um, B Radiance, which she is here on YouTube. So go check her channel out. Um, she was like, you should do a tutorial. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Clearly, this is why I started YouTube. I did not start to be, you know, recording mommy videos. But um, as time will have it, that's inevitably, inevitably what happened. Um, simply because I found it unrealistic for me to post beauty videos all day. Like, I wasn't cooking and cleaning and doing all this other stuff. So... Um, of course, I jumped on a chance to make uh, a rendition of this look. But look, y'all. First of all, don't judge me, okay? Um, I wanted to be extra that Sunday. So I know somebody feel like this is a nighttime look. I wore it during the day. And I wasn't shamed about it. Um, if I would have had lashes that day, these would have been the ones that I put on and cried off at church. And I dare you to say something to me, okay? So, if you want to see how I created this look or this rendition of this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, home bodies. So, we are going to start with priming. Um, this, I want to call this, I don't know what to call this, Biosha, Biosha. At any rate, I like to use this stuff um, all over my face. I do not like to just use this on my T-zone. Um, cause this stuff is phenomenal for the entire face. Let me tell it. Okay. So, um, I've already primed next. We are going to move on to brows. And if you are going to be out like, uh, the look that I just showed you guys, I was actually going to church and I don't know about you, but church can last all day for me. So I like to kind of go in with a primer this is a uh, soft ochre paint pot um i like to brush this in my brows and then i like to go in with the urban decay um shadow eyeshadow primer and the reason why i kind of like to go through my brows and do both is because they both offer something different Okay, so I had to zoom in to kind of finish this off. So once that's done, um, I'm going to shake my brows. I'm also going to be using this as a eyeshadow primer. Go into my... A uh, Too Faced chocolate bar palette. My palette literally just broke, but I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to work that in my crease with a fluffy brush. This is from the beauty supply store. So to get that purple tint that I had in the, the photo, 
I'm going to go to my La Palette Nudes by L'Oreal. And I'm going to pick up this purple. Oh my God, I keep going again. This purple color right here. And I'm going to put that on top of that last color. That's it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. Um, because I my brow bone is highlighted in that photo. Um, I think I used this color. I want to say I don't remember, but I'm gonna make it work anyway. And I only like to highlight the arch. I don't like to highlight the entire brow on the inside. So just to show you how quick and fast this eye look is, I'm going to run in with this MAC Super Wide Electric Cool Eyeshadow. Um, so this is what was on my lid that day. So I'm going to go back in with the uh, brush that I applied my concealer with. I'm going to spray that. Dip my brush into the product. Get about that much off. And then I'm going to hold my eye taut and apply it. While still, while the, the product is still wet, I'm going to go back with this same brush that I just highlighted my inner, um, well, highlighted my uh, arch with, and I'm going to blend th those lines out so that they're not harsh. Okay, so if you guys like this look, you can stop here. But I was feeling super extra that Sunday, and I needed glitter in my life. It was just happening that that Sunday I didn't have lashes even though I had just went to the beauty supply store so I am going to apply lashes in this look but for those of you all that wanted to see the exact look with the glitter um, I'm going to do that next okay so these are the two products that you're gonna need in order to apply glitter um, this is next um, glitter primer i think i paid like seven or eight dollars for this and then this is mac pigment and tan and yet again i am going to use this exact same brush and i'm going to use my fingers to apply the glue um i'm just going to put a little bit on my little palette and then i'm going to apply the glue the same way you would with any other eyeshadow Okay, y'all, so being me, I still felt the need to be even more extra. So I grabbed my Wet n Wild highlighter, <clears throat> excuse me, and Crown of Canopy. Y'all. And I went on to be even be more extra. Because I'm... I was just in the need of some extra in my life that day. Like, for no good founded reason, I just felt like I hadn't dressed up in a while. I hadn't put on makeup, and Lord knows how long. And I just felt like I just needed to keep packing it on until my little heart got content. That's That was just my whole purpose at that point to be extra and if you if you're not this extra then okay it's fine ain't nobody ain't nobody judging you but me on the other hand i just need to be a little a little more extra than usual so i'm gonna grab this darker color right here this dark brown and i'm going to put this on my outer crease to kind of give me that nice smoky that I was reaching for and then I realized that it wasn't dark enough so I went over to my MAC um palette my MAC quad um I don't know what colors are in here because I mean it just gets so confusing to me but I'm gonna grab this these two colors right here 
this one has a, a smidge of glitter in it and you know I just felt like I just need to be even more extra than I already was at this point you see what I'm saying and then I just wanted to um, heighten this look up and yes I was going to church in this I just want y'all to know yes I was going to church with all this makeup on I sure was and I cried it off with no shame just just so you know I ain't got no shame I got fully dressed with this nighttime-esque looking makeup on and I cried it right off I ain't got no shame what? anyway so moving on to face um, I'm going to do three pumps on my little palette. Let me get that makeup off so it don't make, make it me shiny. Three pumps of Revlon Color Stay. I am in Cappuccino. This is my summer color. I will be out this, like, my skin is about to lighten up so, so much now that the winter's here. Um, but... At any rate, I'm going to apply this. Okay, if you are not for all of this makeup, excuse me, by all means, do not waste your time going through the struggle. I suggest going to the Queen um, CoverGirl collection. I'm at 425 um, and I have the cream foundation as well as the powder foundation either way these are completely phenomenal products like I stand behind this a hundred percent usually thank you baby usually when I use this foundation sorry my husband brought me coffee usually when I use this foundation my husband is like oh your makeup is so nice um, he doesn't really know I have on makeup or he's like, your skin just looks amazing. When I use my cream, y'all, I'm just having technical difficulties, like, for real right now. But when I use this foundation or any liquid foundation, he feels like my makeup looks packed on, caked on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? Well, maybe I was looking to look a little cake face today, you know? Maybe I just felt like it. So I'm going to now go in with my Cappuccino Cafe from the Maybelline Fit Me line. And I'm going to apply a very, very minimum uh, amount of this. And I'm going to use the same beauty blender and blend it out. Okay, once that's applied... I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, cupid's bow, and my chin. And I like to do this after I blend out my under eye, so to give my under eye a chance to kind of set in before I um, apply my setting powders, because it can kind of get, um, it, it can be too wet. And then once it's too wet, it what it won't blend right. So now that that's done, I like I said, I was being extra that Sunday. I'm not lying. I'm going in with my black opal uh, invisible oil blotting powder, <clears throat> and I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics um, one two four brush. I got this set at TJ Maxx, I want to say $12.99 for all the brushes. And I'm just going to set that under eye. Okay. So once that is done, I am now going to contour. I only use, I use, when I'm trying to do a natural look, I guess, I'll use this. And then when I want to be super contoured, then I'll use my Ben Eye. Um, 
that day I just didn't feel like going back and forth with my husband because he had already said, oh my God, your makeup looks so thick because of the eye look. And I was like, well, I want to be extra today. Like, why are we discussing this? Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this dang on contour, y'all. You want to make sure you're getting it in your hairline and in your uh your uh edge control. You want to make sure you're getting it in that good edge control, y'all. I don't really contour my nose like that because I like the way it looks without it being contoured. So I kind of just stop there. And then I hop over to my Sigma F05 brush. I know I said that I was going to give you guys um alternatives because I think I paid like $30 for this brush, if I'm not mistaken. You can go with the Morphe M403 brush. This brush is a phenomenal all-around brush. When I say phenomenal all-around brush, I mean like you can't beat it. I think I paid less than $10. And when I want to do my contour and my blush and my highlighter and walk out the door, this is the brush to do it in. But like I said, I wouldn't think about all that. I want it to be extra. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Queen CoverGirl Ebony Bronzer. And I am going to go over that contour to set it. And one thing that you will notice is that, okay, let me put that over there. Um, I do not go in and do the whole chiseled jaw look. Reason being is because for one, that's just not something I care for. And two, my husband does notice everything. So one of the ways I kind of tone my tone my makeup down is by using my bronzer and um, just kind of just letting it all hang out, so to say. So that day... I used a completely muted blush. I actually used Wet n Wild's Mellow Wine. And <clears throat> use okay, so I did want to tone my uh blush down, but I love blush. So I'm going to use this blush for you beauties that kind of want a toned down look. And I'm going to grab this phenomenal brush that I just told you about, the Morphe for, um, M403 brush. And I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and then drag whatever product is left up. So I'm going to make the ugly face and then pop it on there. And then drag whatever is left. So literally there's nothing left. I'm just really blending product at this point. So just like that. And then up. So this looks like I have on absolutely no blush in pictures because it is so like just natural. However, I was trying to be extra that Sunday. So we're going to pop open this MAC. What is this? Breezy? Girl, if you're not here for the $18 to spend on this, I got you covered. Because Cover Girl got the exact same blush. Exact same freaking blush. This is not a dupe. This is the exact same freaking blush. This is called, which, what your name is? Plum Plush. This is called Breezy. These are the exact same freaking blushes. I'm so serious. It looks frostier in the pan than it actually is, but they look the exact same on the skin. And as a matter of fact, just to show you how I paid a dollar for this because it was in the clearance bucket and it wasn't expired, thank God, because this holds 36 months. This only holds, how many months you hold? It don't say. No, it don't say. It must have been on the box. But anyway, just to show you, I'm going to apply this blush and this blush. This was $18. This was a dollar. Okay? Just to show you, these are the exact same blushes. 
So there's that blush. A dollar. $18. So. These is that same blush. I want to let you know that. $17 difference. Same dang blush. I'm saying. So I'm saying. When I feel like being extra, I'll be extra. But on this day, I, I wasn't here for it. Okay, I just, I just went here for it. So, now I'm going in with my MAC Fairly Precious Highlighter. Um, Again, I want it to be extra, y'all. And I applied this highlighter because it blends so seamlessly. Like, I love my Wet n Wild highlighters. I love my drugstore highlighters. But sometimes they can be a bit chunky. And I'm just not here for it all the time. NYX has some pretty amazing highlighters. Um, this is the Morphe 500 brush. I only use this brush to apply my highlighter. But NYX, I'm sorry, NYX has some really phenomenal highlighters. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this day, I'm just going to say it again, I felt like being extra. So, I didn't want to use my NYX. I wanted to use this one. Because... I want it to be extra. Okay. So after all this hard work is done, I like to go in with my uh, face powder by what do you what is your name cover girl queen and i like to set the rest of my face like i said because i am out for quite some time on sunday and the last thing i want to do is be all oily and find myself touching up my makeup because once it's on it's on if it come off, it come off. Lord, bless, bless the children when they see me take these lashes off because I ain't got no shame, honey. Once once I cried off, I don't go back and reapply. Okay, so here we go. A quick learning lesson. I tried eyelash glue. Then I found out eyelash glue comes with formaldehyde in it. Formaldehyde is used to embalm people. Mmm. So, formaldehyde eyelashes, no. Uh, I rebuked the devil off my life. So, what I tried then was, because I still wanted to endorse in the trend, was hair glue. Hair glue, on the other hand, has a handful of ingredients, y'all. A handful. Each of these words that you can actually pronounce and I felt like if I can pronounce it, I can use it. I can pronounce formaldehyde too, but I ain't about to use that crap. So with that being said, um, I choose eyelash glue. Um, by the time I get in my eyes, it's time to walk out the door. Okay, just want just want to put that blotter out there. Okay, but before we start on the eyes, I always 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 like to set my makeup why because my lashes even though you can't really see them now they're pretty long and if i don't set my makeup now when it comes time to um <clears throat> put on my eyeshadow not my eyeshadow my eyeliner and my um my mascara that's the word i'm looking for um it always gets on my makeup so, I kind of like to go ahead and do this part first. Okay, what's in the bottle? This is the rose water plus Ben Nye's setting spray 
plus some e.l.f. setting spray. Why, and that's what the little green tint is. It's not from their setting spray. The reason why I mix these is because they I like all three of them, but I really, really like um, the Ben Nye setting spray, but it's, it's too minty and it's too powerful. So I put a bit of the um, e.l.f. setting spray and mix it with the rose water to kind of tone it down so it's not like burning my face because of the menthol and the mint in it. It just so we understand, yes, I still use it. And the reason why I still use it is because I like it. It sets my makeup. And like I said, I do cry when I go to church. And it does hold. So I like to use it because it's stage makeup and it holds. Duh. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and smoke up my under, let my lower lash line with this purple. And I'm going to take this brush back again, and I'm just going to put the minimal, okay, the minimal, just so we get the idea that it happened, okay? That's all I, that's all I want to do. I just want you to believe I did it. All right, so now that I'm off my soapbox, I'm going to grab my Milani um, eye pencil. And I'm going to line my lower, my lower, uh, my waterline, because I did uh, line my waterline that day. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all something. You see this? This is glue. This is glue that just literally got stuck on my eye. Now, if you're using a glue with formaldehyde in it, this is going to burn. And when I say it's going to burn, it's going to burn like nobody's business. So this is why I suggest using hair glue. I know it's supposed to be for your hair, but when you're putting something around that sensitive body part, you don't want it to burn. I'm just saying, if it burns, then maybe it's not the product for you. Okay, y'all. So, originally I had on this lip gloss. This is by CoverGirl, and the color is, I don't know. But it's from CoverGirl. And it gives off this really, really pretty purple tint to the lips. I do suggest these glosses. Um, uh, oh, I found a name, y'all. Colorlicious. Pinkalicious. That's all I can tell you, okay? However, this is a really nice gloss if you're really just trying to um, read through a look. You know what I mean? Just trying to say I'm put together. That ain't what I was going for that day. I just want you to know. So, with that being said, I put on this purple, this deep, deep purple um, color pop. What is this called? Never mind. I put this on as a lip liner, and then I went in with 785 choc Chocolate. Can you see that? You can see that. By Maybelline. These are $5, and they come with coupons. That's why they get bought. Now, I'm quite aware that in the picture, it looks like I only have one brown. But originally, like I said, I had on this gloss with this lip liner. So, with that being said... Um, this is what I ended up wearing. This is what the tutorial consisted of. So here we go. I tell you, filters can be tricky. So this is the look and i hope you enjoy i totally enjoyed making this tutorial for you guys um makeup was my first reason for starting youtube actually um and then life caught up and then i realized that it was unrealistic for me to always make beauty videos and uh, 
I had laundry to do, so I didn't want to be walking around the house doing laundry with these on, honey. So, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, okay? I know somebody's going to hop in these comments or in your mind and say, who going to wear this to church? <laughs> Me. Okay, you better check my resume. Go to iPink underscore hearts. I pink is one word, and you will see from day one, I've been beating his face and going to church in it, honey. I just want you to know. And when I say, once I done cried it off, that's it. I mean it. I will gladly pull these lashes off in front of the pastor. Glad Sugar ain't got no shame. You better get on this train, honey. You better get on it. So, at any rate, um, I hope you, <laughs> yeah, I tripped myself out. Anyway, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it as I enjoyed filming it for you guys. So, here go these good face shots.